Hi, my name's Janine. I've come to Thailand for dental treatment. to come to Thailand for dental treatment? Look, I've, I've heard of basically, bottom line, I, I needed to get a lot of work done on my on my teeth and um, did a lot, looked around in Australia and just found that it was so expensive and I've heard of people coming over here and I've heard of friends of friends have come over here to Thailand to get some work done and get it done reasonably, I mean, a lot cheaper here in Thailand than over there. So I thought, why not? Did you go to a dentist before you came? Yeah, I did actually. And uh, what kind of quote did you receive? Well, I had hair, just pointing at this tooth here, one of my front tooth. I've had this crown and for on 30 years and I went around, I knew, I knew I needed to get it replaced. And when I went and got my first quote, he quoted me approximately $3,000. I mean, and I'm thinking, oh God, that's probably just the start. So that really frightened me and I just thought, I can't, you know, I can't afford that. Yeah. So you decided to come to Thailand and how, what were your first impressions of the dental clinic? Here in Thailand? Oh, I was, I, I'm in all of them. I, they were so honest. I told them, basically I just told them what I could afford. So I gave them my budget to work on. They, the way they are, they would like to get everything done but they also understood that I had a budget to work to. So they did all the most important things first and then I'll be back next year to get whatever else I need done. Yeah. So have you been happy with the treatment? Oh, I'm very happy. I am very happy. I can't wait to get back to Australia. I've just sent an email actually to some friends and said that I've got everything done I could possibly, well, when I say afford to have got to get done. Um, and I said, just mentioned that they just got all the most important things. That, I'm not going to have any trouble with my teeth. In fact, I don't have one hole in my mouth mm -hmm. that I know I'm not going to get. I've been very sick, actually. And that was also a health issue with me. That's where it was getting at with me. I've been quite ill with my teeth. Um, long story short, I had rheumatic fever as a young girl. Penicillin had affected my teeth. And I needed, I really needed to get it done because I've been getting really quite ill. So I'm not going to get ill until I have, I can afford to come back next year. So you just sent an email to all your friends and family. Yeah. What did they say before you came over? Well, you know, I, they were happy for me, but there's always a downside to these things. They were saying, oh, what if it doesn't work? It's a long way to go. You're spending quite a bit of money, you know, and I just said, look, I have to be positive about this. this is, I'm just, it's a gut feeling. I've heard, got on the net. I googled other people's uh, reviews and they were all good. So I basically had to go on that. And I didn't know anyone directly that's done come here, but I've heard of friends of friends that have come over and they've all been happy, it's all been good. So, you know, at the end of the day, they were just, they just want everything to work out for me, which it has. So you, whilst you've been in Thailand, have you had to be at the dental clinic every day? Have you been able to do other things? Last year here? They were very considerate, they understood and I did have a chat with them, I said look I'm here for a holiday as well so they tried their very best to get my fit my appointments in so I can go and do a bit of sightseeing and do some shopping. What kind of things have you been doing? Oh, well you know I just sent an email to some of my friends now just before and I said look didn't get to do a lot of shopping but the most important thing is that I've I've gone out and had a look sightseeing and learned of their culture, their tradition, tradi traditional ways. So that to me is my far more exciting. And I have a free day today and I'm going to do some more shopping. And yeah, I went shopping yesterday, mind you, but so I haven't been denied of anything. <laughs> what about the hotel that you're staying at, that Global Health Travel put you up in? Are you happy with that? Oh, I am so happy. So, so happy. I'll come back here again. I'll come back here again. And just because while we're on that note, I had friends that have been over here before and they just were a little concerned because they thought 
I paid a little bit more, which they said you're staying at a resort, of course you would. You can go and get a place for like from $2 to, to $30 a night. And I'm, they said, they're so hospitable, they'll look after you. And I said, I know that, I know that. But I have, it's been worth every cent. Been well cared for by Cassandra, Global Health, everybody. It was just how and what I went with the whole time was that gut feeling that I knew I did the right thing, and I had. So you're going to come back then? Yeah, yeah, next year, next year. So I thought, no, they've worked out really well. They didn't get to do all my, get to do everything they wanted, because I ran out of time as well. That was the other thing, budget. And I wasn't here long enough to, to be able to do all of the work that I needed to get done. So, yeah, I'm, it's a good excuse to come back next year. Well, we look forward to seeing you again when you come back. Oh, thank you. I can't wait to come back. I'm already missing it and I haven't left yet. <laughs>